of space travel. Now, NASA hopes that the Perseverance can find evidence of ancient life on Mars, but again, it first has to land safely, and NASA scientists call that process seven minutes of terror. Here's a closer look. Mars is a graveyard of spacecraft. While the scientists see a magnificent sight seeking the signs of past life, I see danger. One flaw in the entire process, and that could be the end of the mission. Failure is a real possibility. We call it the seven minutes of terror because it takes approximately seven minutes for the spacecraft to make it from the top of the Martian atmosphere to safely wheels on the ground. But it's terrifying because the spacecraft has to manage that descent stage all by itself. We come screaming into the Mars atmosphere at around 5.5 kilometers per second. That's around 12 to 13,000 miles per hour. And that's fast. It's so fast that we could burn up in the atmosphere if we didn't have our aeroshell, our heat shield. If for some reason our thermal protection system fails, things on the inside will overheat and the structure will overheat, which could lead to a bad day. That process of entry slows us all the way down to about 500 miles an hour. But that's still not slow enough to land on the surface of Mars. So we have to open up a parachute. We're deploying the largest supersonic planetary parachute ever used. We're going almost twice the speed of sound when we deploy that parachute. So it's a very violent opening. It gives us a neck snapping 10 plus Gs of deceleration. Perseverance is the first mission to land with its eyes open. Perseverance will have a new technology called terrain relative navigation, which will actually let it see where it is as it's descending on the parachute. It's still going too fast to land under this giant 70-foot parachute. So Perseverance will jettison the parachute and then come down on a set of rockets. About 65 feet above the surface of Mars, we do the sky crane maneuver. We actually lower the rover below its jet backpack and then place it gently on the surface. Sky crane has only been used once. I don't like the odds of only having done things once. We are always careful to make sure that we don't assume that just because it worked once that it will work again. It'll certainly be a tremendous relief for my team, and me personally, when we touch down safely. We know that everyone's depending on us. Like, share, subscribe and get notification.